The Instance Detail page is where you can view and fully manage an instance. To get to an Instance Detail page, navigate to Provisioning, Instances, and simply click on an instance. In this example, we will look at a Mongo container replica set. Please note instance details and actions differ between instance types and user permissions. One of the first details we see on this instance is that it is scheduled to expire, which means it will be deleted if we do not extend it. This is due to an expiration policy in effect on the group this instance is in. Shutdown policies work in the same way, but simply shut down the instance instead of deleting it. The policy in effect allows for auto extensions. So to extend the life of this instance, we will just click on Extend Now. Policies can be configured to require approvals, in which case this extension request would change to Pending Approval. At the top of the Instance Detail page, you can see an Instance Type icon, the Instance Name, our new expiration date, the Environment, Service Plan, and Instance Description. You can click on the star icon to favorite instances and have them show up on the dashboard. If we edit the instance, we can change its name, description, environment, or move it to a new group. The Actions menu brings up a variety of options, which again vary per instance type and user permissions. We can stop, start, or restart Mongo, suspend, or lock the instance. Locking an instance will disable the delete action. To resize the instance, click Reconfigure. Please note, reconfigure options are dependent on service plan configuration, which can allow for customizable volumes, RAM, or cores independently, or be locked down to set service plans, like in this case. We can also clone this instance, manually back it up, run a workflow from the automation section, run a script from the library script section, or apply a template from the library template section. The info section shows us the instance type icon, the group or groups the instance lives in, the cloud or clouds the instance lives in, the initial date the instance was created the user the instance was created by, the instance type layout of the container, the layout and version of the instance, the number of cores, memory, and storage for the instance, and if you have pricing enabled, it will show you how much it is costing per month. And if you have pricing enabled, it will show you how much this instance costs per month. Below the info section, you will see a list of all the containers, or virtual machines in your instance. You can see the status, name, the host the container lives on in this case, the container type, cloud, IP and port info. If there are multiple IP and ports, simply click the drop down to access. And then individual resource utilization stats per container. There's also individual action drop downs for each container. Below the container or virtual machine list, you will see your instance tabs. Please note, these depend on the instance type and some other options include scale, deploy, and settings. The summary tab will show charts for your memory, storage, CPU, IOPS, and network statistics. The Storage and Network tabs show relevant information. The Logs tab will show the syslogs for your instances if the Morpheus agent is installed. Backups will show your current backup status with the link to your backup. The Environment tab will show all your environment variables of which you can overwrite or add new ones. The History tab will show the full history of the instance. You can expand for more information or click the eye for the instance history detail modal.
In the console tab, we'll open the appropriate console for your instance. This is an SSH session directly into one of the containers. I can switch containers by clicking the drop down and selecting a different one. Please note, Morpheus also supports RDP and VNC. You can pop out a console by clicking the pop out icon. And you can even do this with multiple instances. Below the Summary tab, you'll also see an Instance Notes section. This allows you to add notes about your instance and does support markup. 